EFG Science TV. Search for a cure. The fight against forgetting. Zebrafish help understand Alzheimer's. Will the researchers at the LMU Munich finally manage to develop a drug to treat Alzheimer's disease? The zebrafish could be the answer. Doctoral researcher Dominic has at least been able to prove that the animal model can develop symptoms of Alzheimer's and so it can help in finding a treatment for the disease. Although our knowledge of the molecular mechanisms of the disease is growing, there is still no medication available to treat its causes. Bettina Schmidt and Frauke van Beber from LMU Munich are testing several approaches to treatment on a fish with Alzheimer's. They want to delay the cell death process. The idea is to prevent the agglutination of the amyloid, or tau, protein from occurring in the first place. For in the long term, these substances can destroy the nerve cells and so induce Alzheimer's disease. We know that tau can be poisonous even without amyloid. There are illnesses for which the agglutinations of the tau protein have been shown to lead to cell death, for example, frontotemporal dementia. The question we are tackling now is whether the agglutination of the tau protein really does lead to cell death. We can test this directly because we now have an Alzheimer's fish model and there are chemicals that have been shown to reduce the agglutination of the tau protein. One substance that does this is methylene blue. In the test tube, it has already been proved that it can prevent tau agglutinations. The researchers want to find out whether this also works in an animal model. Both the healthy fish and the tau fish are treated with different concentrations of methylene blue. Frauke subsequently counts up to check whether the number of dead cells really can be reduced by methylene blue. The hopes of biologist Frauke and her team are riding on this. But can she really prove that cell death can be prevented entirely? The experiment is complete and the treatment of the Alzheimer's fish with methylene blue was not able to reduce the amount of dead cells. From that we conclude that the agglutinations of the tau protein are not poisonous to the cells. Methylene blue reduces the agglutinations of the tau protein but unfortunately cannot prevent the cells from dying off. And therefore, we have to test new substances which can do that. We have some other good candidates which we will test in sequence. There's still hope for Alzheimer's patients though. In order to assess the progress of the dementia, Dr. Jens Benninghoff of the psychiatric clinic at LMU Munich asks the patients in his surgery to draw a clock. The patients find this more and more difficult as the illness progresses. Of course, we can't eliminate the illness with the drugs that we have today, but what we can do with these treatments is alleviate the symptoms. That means we can, so to speak, freeze the development of this disease almost at the current stage at which the patient presents to us. That is only the case, however, over a period of two to three years, four years at the most. We need to start much earlier, either through extended vaccination programs, which are in fact being discussed by scientists, or as one could also imagine by, say, if we simply take the proteins that accompany the Alzheimer's dementia pathophysiologically, if we can cut them off somewhere, we could perhaps alleviate the symptoms. But in all honesty, I don't yet believe that that will happen in the near future. The team under Professor Haas at LMU Munich will have to invest a lot more time yet and continue their research on the zebrafish with great dedication. There is still a lot of work ahead before a drug is found that can extend or even save the lives of Alzheimer's patients. The researchers continue to hope. In any event, they've already achieved important advances. Visit DFG Science TV for more information. Awaken the researcher within you.